Hello, good day. I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Yes. So the Lord God tell me something and say I should put it up online. So the Lord want you all who are watching to know that. He answer prayers. He, the Lord God, answereth prayers not selfish evil wicked prayers no you don't answer bad prayers other than that he answered prayers he answers prayers okay so the lord want you to know and the lord god also want you the viewer to know that when you seek the lord god i did say it in 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 the other video that i post before this and the lord want me to say it again it is so true of what the Lord is telling you right now. I prove it. It really works. The Lord wants us to seek in first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things. Everything you want, need, and long for shall be added unto you. Yes, and all these things shall be added unto you, say the Lord. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Yes, and I prove it. It works. It really works. <laughs> so in this time and age from the one, the Lord God wants us all, you the viewer, to put the Lord God Almighty, Heavenly Father, first at the top of everything everything and everyone when you wake up let let the lord god be the first thing you 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 like you don't know, see cold you talk to the first person after you tell your spouse good morning or tell your children good morning or i don't know if they're late lay um sleeping in your bed or stuff you pray and sing gospel music and talk to the lord and read his words you start your day off with the Lord God. I am telling you, that really works. God told me, I realize it when I do it, that it, it, it brings so much good things to me. Energy, strength, blessings. Um, I feel better. My life is better. <laughs> I mean, everything work or everything like work or good, right and well when you do that. And it really does work when you seek the Lord God and put him first above all else and above everyone. So that's what the Lord God wants us to do from now on. Yes. Put him first. When you start, you start your day off with God. Yeah, when you wake up, you start your day off with God. It really do work when you put him at the top of everyone and at the top of your list of what to do. Yes. First, pray first and read the words of the Lord God first before you start your day doing anything else. Okay. That will definitely bring a whole lot of good things to you and your life when you do that. It definitely works. That's my testimony. That it do work and God and testimony that God answer prayers because I am telling you. Uh let me see. Uh I pray to the Lord God for him to help me to uh i said to the lord you know should i take out this or lord god if you don't want me to take it out then you give it to me lord god because i am not sure about this you know because this ain't right this is like unnecessary and it really is not a right thing to do but i was like desperate and wondering if I should do it and you know I was like oh I think I have no other choice but Lord make a way provide a way so that I don't have to do this and the next morning I wake up I couldn't believe it I said Lord before the, the, the morning no, I said Lord yeah you give it to me 
make a way provided for me if you don't want me to take out this right if you don't want me to do this right then lord god you do it for me so that so that i don't have to do this thing that is so unnecessary so like like you should not do it type of idea and the next morning i wake up people i i just couldn't believe my eyes when i got an email and i was like when i look at the email i was like what like no lord i was like i can't believe it i was like Oh my God, I can't believe it. Oh Lord, I was like, oh my God. I was, like, <laughs> I was like, you ever get something that shock you till you're like, is this for real? Oh my God, <laughs> I can't believe it. And you're like holding your head like, is this for real? <laughs> like God. And you're like mumbling. <laughs> that is how I was. That is how I was, people. I'm telling you, God answer my prayers he made the way so that i don't do the foolish idea that i was desperate to do <laughs> and i was like god did it god did it god did it <laughs> i was like god you did it god you did it i was like god you did it god you did it thank you thank you Lord. and it took me like probably a minute for me to realize then thank the lord god i was like looking at the email like what i was like and it took me like <laughs> a minute to start thanking god and a minute to start realizing it's true and a minute to start praising god i'm like <laughs> y'all ever been through that i'm telling you that's my testimony of god can answer prayers and also my testimony uh of when i seek the lord god and put him first before job work business school anything children your husband your spouse you start your day off with god and i'm telling you it brings so much good things energy blessings it brighten your life make your life feel like it's new brand new if it was bad your life now get good right and you're feeling like you're on cloud nine. You're like, you never feel this way before type of feeling. I'm telling you, it is happening to me when I put God first. And I'm telling you, he will make a way out of nowhere. He will bless you and provide for you and give you all that you want, need, and long for. He did it for Abraham. Yes, he did it for Abraham. And he will also do it for you, the viewer. Yes. So he did it for me too. So he can also do it for you. So I'm telling him, yes, he do work when you start your day off with God. And when you put him first. And he also answer prayers when you're not selfish. So yeah, when your prayers are not selfish. So I'm telling you, that's my testimony. It do work. Abraham put the Lord God first and he's blessed beyond. He was blessed beyond measures. Yes. So you should do it as well. That's what the Lord God wants you and I and all of us to do. So I'm reading from Genesis chapter 24. When the Lord God spoke to me and showed me and tell me. And I'm telling you, when I read this part of what I'm about to tell you, the anointing came upon me. I'm like, ooh, I felt that. It's like the feeling started coming upon me again. I'm like, wow god really answer prayers i mean when you stick with him and when you believe in the lord jesus and when you have faith in the lord god almighty he really really will come true for you answer your prayers because in genesis chapter um 24 um Abraham, yeah. <laughs> Abraham said to his servant, go and find me a wife for my son Isaac. Okay. And he make him take a oath. Abraham make the servant take a oath that he will go the way that Abraham sent him and not the other way, not no other way, 
to get a wife for Isaac, Abraham's son. So the servant took the oath and he went on his way. And in the desert, he stopped. He stopped on his way, right? At a well. And the servant prayed unto the Lord God and say, God of Abraham. In verse 12, he said, and he said, O Lord God of my master Abraham, I pray thee, send me good speed this day and shew me and shew kindness unto my master Abraham. Verse 14. And let it come to pass that the damsel to whom I shall say, let down thy pitcher, I pray thee, that I may drink. And she shall say, drink, and I will give thy camels drink also. Let the same be she that thou hast appointed for thy servant Isaac. And thereby shall I know that thou hast showed kindness unto my master verse 15 and it came to pass before he had done speaking that behold rebecca came out so you see he prayed unto the lord god of abraham and he said lord send me that person that will give me water to drink and give my camels water to drink for him the servant of uh, abraham to know from the Lord God that this woman is the woman that he should bring to Isaac for his wife. Yes. So, he saw Rebecca. I'm telling you, God answered a prayer quick. <laughs> That's how God will work. Sometimes he will take long and sometimes he will answer it quick. And sometimes it will be in between quick and long. So God will work when he wants to. Okay. Whether quick or take long or in between. But his prayer got answered real quick. Because Abraham, um, Rebecca come. Right? Rebecca came out. Who was born to Bethuel. Son of Milka, the wife of Naor, Abraham's brother, with her picture upon her shoulder. That's the type of uh, generation that Abraham wanted um, his son to get a wife from. Yeah, the, the generation from where he want the wife of Isaac to come from. Yes, of his kindred. So that's where Abraham tell him to get the wife. And that's where Rebecca come from. My goodness. You so God answer prayers, people. Yeah. God is good for his mercy endured forever. I'm telling you, when I read this part, the anointing came upon me. I was like, ooh, I feel that. Ooh, it's like, it's like goosebumps run all over my body. I'm telling you, the anointing was like all over my body. It's like the Lord touched me at that time. I'm like, yeah. I'm telling you, mm -hmm. yeah, that really did touch me when I read that part where Rebecca came. My goodness. So, back to the scripture. The wife of Nair, Abraham's brother, with her picture up on her shoulder. And, um, verse 17. And the servant ran to meet her and said, Let me, I pray thee, drink a little water of thy pitcher. And she said, verse 18, And she said, Drink, my Lord. And she hasted and let down her pitcher upon her hand and gave him drink. That's what he prayed for, you know, and that's what Rebecca did. Verse 19, And when she had done giving him drink she said i will draw water for thy camels also until they have done drinking the next thing she did of what he prayed for unto the god of abraham yes <laughs> verse 20 and she is said and emptied her pitcher into the trough 
and ran again unto the well to draw water and drew for all his camels verse 21 and the man wondering at her held his peace to wit whether the lord had made his journey prosperous or not <laughs> like some of us like my own self sometimes when god answer our prayers like what the servant did we we're like wondering oh my oh my god my prayers are answering is the lord answering my prayers oh my my prayers are answering wondering <laughs> is this really what i prayed for is my prayers really answering probably like three quarter or half of the persons on this earth the people on this earth ask and wonder that same thing in their mind <laughs> <laughs> if their prayers are answering by the Lord, if the Lord is answering their prayers, when they see the thing answering, they see their prayers in their face answering, they're wondering, is this really my prayers answering? Is this really like what I prayed for? <laughs> my goodness. He got his prayers right in his eyesight. Exactly what's happening of what he asked the Lord God for. And he is wondering if she is the one. <laughs> I'm like, man, she is the one. <laughs> Can you see? He's wondering. I mean, we, we almost, every one of us is like that, huh? Wondering if God really is answering our prayers. Is this? Really? Like, God giving me what I prefer? <laughs> stop it. We should all stop that. Truly. Yeah. Verse 22. And it came to pass, as the camels had done drinking, that the man took a golden earring of half a shekel weight and two bracelet for her hands of ten shekels weight of gold. So he realized and give her bracelet and ears ring. <laughs> so that was that's how rich Abraham was. That his servant have all those gold, you know, around him that he could give away some gold, gold ears ring and gold bracelet and stuff. <laughs> I guess he was really happy to find her. <laughs> so good for Rebecca, huh? Verse twenty six and twenty seven. And the man bowed down his head and worshipped the Lord. Yes, God's so good. You're amazing, Lord God. Yes. So he realized God answered his prayers and started worshipping the Lord. Yes, for he got his prayers answered. <laughs> and he said, Blessed be the Lord God of my master, Abraham, who hath not left destitute, my master of his mercy and his truth, I being in the way the Lord led me to the house of my master's brethren. Yes. Verse 31. And he said, come in. The brother for, um, the brother for Rebecca. He said to Abraham's uh, manservant, and he said, Come in, thou blessed of the Lord, wherefore standest thou without? For I have prepared the house and room for the camels. So, Abraham, Abraham told his manservant, when he asks Abraham, um, when the servant asks Abraham, suppose they don't let me in, suppose they don't accept me. So Abraham said, well, then my oath to be clear from you if they let you in or not. So no, the brother of Rebecca let him in. So that's a good thing because he was wondering if they would let him in, if they would accept him, if he would get the wife, you know. So 
the brother found with him because he saw the earrings on Rebecca and the gold braces on Rebecca. So he liked him and he was like, okay, he was fond of him. He let in the manservant for Abraham. Yes. So the oath is cleared from the manservant because you know he got the wish of abraham right and abraham also said if they don't let it in well the oath is cleared from you anyway so verse 45 said and before i had done speaking in my heart behold rebecca came forth with her picture on her shoulder that was a manservant telling them what had happened of what Abraham tell him to do and what, uh, yeah, what, what he had prayed to the Lord before he saw Rebecca. So, and what happened when he saw Rebecca? So in verse 45, in Genesis 24, verse 45, the manservant for Abraham said he prayed unto the Lord in his heart. I have heard of someone say they said something in their heart that they really mean and the Lord got answered that prayer. Okay, yes, so it can be done. And I also said something to the Lord in my heart. And voila, it happened same time. <laughs> same time, I'm telling you, it happened. So, yes. It can be done and it have already been done so of a lot of people that they think something in their heart, they pray something unto the Lord God in their heart and the Lord God answer their prayer even in their heart. Yes. So the man servant said he prayed unto God in his heart. Can you believe it? And God answered his prayer at the same time and sent for Rebecca. Yes, yeah, so he was telling the story unto Rebecca's brother and her mother of what happened. Yes, yeah, so 45 say, and before I had done speaking in my heart, behold, Rebecca came forth with her picture on her shoulder and shoe and and she went down unto the well and drew water. And I said unto her, let me drink. I pray thee. Verse 51. Behold, Rebecca is before thee. Take her and go and let her be thy master's son's wife, as the Lord hath spoken. So verse 51 here is when, sorry, people, is when, is when um, the brother and the mother hear what he have to say of what Abraham wants and tell him to do. And he told up the story and he prayed, he saw Rebecca and everything. So they agree with what the Lord wants with what Abraham said he should do. So they, they agree with it. They are okay with it. And they say they can't deny it because it's the Lord wanted. So what can they do? So they, they are all right with it. So they send Rebecca to him to be Isaac wife. So that's what it. Uh, that's what uh, verse fifty one is saying. Behold, Rebecca is before thee. Take her and go, and let her be thy master's son's wife, as the Lord hath spoken. So Rebecca, brother, and her mother agreed and sent off Rebecca with the manservant to be Isaac's wife. Yes. So you see, so air ended the word of the Lord in verse genesis chapter 24 okay so that's it for right now people jesus christ love you have a blessed day